Hello and good evening. Today has been a long day, I am sure. If you are the type that wakes up by 5 a.m. to start preparing for activities of the day, I am sure by now it's more than 12 hours that you've been awake. And so you must be tired and worn out. Of course, depending on what uh, you did. If you're a worker, a civil servant, or a public servant, as the case may be, I'm sure you would have gone to your office today, you would have moved files from one table to the other, <laughs> you would have also have uh, chatted up your friends in the office. And so you have done your job for the day, and we expect that the government or your employer is owing you for the hard job that you have done for this day. And if you work for yourself, whether you are a trader or a business person, or you yourself employed, Today you would have done one or two things to further your lot in life. And so it is time to call it a day. Because I know that in the next couple of hours, one or two hours, most of us would have uh, gone to bed to take a good night rest. And I'm just bringing this message to you to, to wish you a nice night rest. Because I know that a lot of people go to bed and are unable to sleep because they are worried. They are worried for their future, they are worried for their tomorrow, they are worried for their children if they have children, they are worried for their spouses if they have wives and husbands. They are worried that some people are generally worried about everything, especially in this economy, this depression we have found ourselves. People get worried over almost everything. From the cost of living to even the cost of dying and so people go to bed and they hardly sleep they keep turning from left to right standing up going to the toilet coming back trying to sleep and sleep doesn't come because they are stressed so before you go to bed get yourself distressed if there's anything bothering you ask yourself one question in the next five years, will this thing bothering me now really matter? That's the question to ask yourself. If you are worried about something, what is it that you are worried about? What can you do about it? If there's nothing you can do about something that's worrying you right now, so why bother yourself? Why kill yourself slowly because you are you are wondering where help will come? I don't want to sound sanctimonious as it is now. But I want to tell you that if you believe in God and you trust Him and you are His child, then why do you bother about the single hair on your head? Are you able to make it? Did you have a choice in your coming to earth? Did you have a choice in who you eventually are? Whatever it is that is coming your way has come your way, has been so programmed so you can learn from it. So why you try to go to bed this night? If you are the type that finds it difficult to fall asleep, just debug yourself. <laughs> Did I say debug? Okay. Distress yourself. <laughs> Since you're not a computer as it were. But in fact, that's, the, that's the thing. If your computer is under stress, it's a bug. So you have to debug the computer for it to keep optimally working again. So because we are human beings, we pass through stress. So di distress yourself if you don't want to be distressed. The best way to distress yourself is to take a cool bath. Some people take warm bath. I take cold bath. Soak yourself in the bathtub for some minutes. When you come out from there, you're cool, you're refreshed. And then as soon as you put your head on the pillow, you're off to that land that we don't know where it is located. Having prayed, of course, to God to wake you up the following morning. So I hope your day was good. But like I said earlier, I just want to wish you a very nice night rest. Good night. Ciao.